Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today for another sim racing video. I hope you're all doing well. So I've got something different for you today, not the scheduled ACC video. However, it is something else I'm pretty excited to get up on the channel. We're back on R Factor 2, as you can clearly see. Uh, we've just had the big May update dropped uh, with a bunch of DLC, loads of fixes. So let's head on in and see what we've got. So here it is, guys, Monday the 9th of May, Q2 release day. Let's have a look what information we've got here to find on the website. So we're looking at the key highlights here. New sound engine. Well, there was nothing really wrong with the sound engine anyway, but it's been updated. We've got a new wet weather update, new particles and sparks, a new shift protection engine and brake cooling system. Hmm, lots of interesting information there, I bet. Uh, lots of general fixes, updates, graphics fixes, updates, physics, AI, UI, you name it, this update seems to have it, <laughs> quite obviously, looking at this quite extensive list. Uh, we've got more modding support, there's some details of the sound improvement. But the big one that we're most interested in is the new content that's dropped. Uh, it's the BTCC Touring Car, or the British Touring Car Championship. Uh, so we've got two cars to purchase in the DLC, as well as two brilliant tracks so let's have a closer look at those. So we're going to start with the first car, the Toyota Corolla GR. Uh, it's a front wheel drive car. Now, Sims normally have quite a difficult job of recreating a front wheel drive car. But let me tell you this straight away, guys, before we get into the video, the main bulk of the video anyway, Studio 397 have done an amazing job with this car. It feels absolutely brilliant. Loads of oversteer on corner entry. Lots of understeer on corner exit as you get onto the power and the feedback you get through the wheels, uh, the scrubbing of the tires, absolutely incredible. It really, really is, guys. You have, to, you have to play the sim, you have to feel it to believe it. Now, for all you tail-happy lovers out there, the second car, completely different to the first car. It's the Infiniti Q50. It's a rear-wheel drive car. And it is an absolute blast to drive. It is crazy, crazy fun. It wants to kill you in every corner. But with that, it really brings out a massive smile when you get this car right. So yeah, this one is, uh, is definitely one you want to spend a lot of time in for sure. And then, of course, we've got two humdingers of circuits. Two absolute favorites on the touring car scene. Uh, the first one, I'm sure we've all raced on it so many times, Brands Hatch. Um, it looks absolutely incredible. What they've done with the lighting, uh, what they've done with the trackside uh, objects, everything on Brands Hatch in this version looks ridiculous. It doesn't matter if you race it in the morning or late in the evening. The different sunsets, uh, sunrises, it is remarkable. It's probably the best Brands Hatch I've ever played on a sim. And then the second one is Donington. Uh, again, another one which we've all probably raced so many times on the various sims. Again, remarkable looking. I actually raced Donington first and it blew me away how good it looked. And then I went and played Brands Hatch and Brands Hatch looked even better. So with all that being said and done, guys, I think what we're going to do now is uh, enough of the introduction going to head out on to track for some glorious 4k pov action we're going to start at uh, donnington uh, it's going to be uh, a four o'clock race in the evening uh, i've got a times five multiplier on this one 120 percent ai 100 percent aggression um, and then we're going to move on to the second circuit we're going to have a quick look at brands hatch this one we're going to do in the morning. I think it's going to be a 10 o'clock start for the race, just so you can have a look at the different lighting effect from one circuit to the next. So hopefully you enjoy that one, guys. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you do like this content, and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Right, so here we go, guys. First race in the new BTCC content, which has just dropped on May the 12th. Here we go. Bit of a nasty start. This is literally the first race. So we're in the Toyota Corolla for this one. Obviously, we're at Donington. Just 
to get around time one, then I'll be able to focus a little bit more on chatting to you. So yeah, this is uh, just a 10 lap race at Donington, just to give you an idea of what to expect if you are interested in buying this. Unfortunately, even with 120% AI and 100% aggression, as you can see in our rear view mirror there, we've absolutely left the AI behind. So we'll probably talk a little bit about that after I do the racing. My final thoughts on, on this DLC. Um, but for now, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy these incredible visuals. I mean, the tracks look absolutely amazing. As does the sound. The sound of these touring cars. Just, it's so raw and so meaty. It's just an absolute joy. I mean, Studio 397 have absolutely nailed this content. They've knocked it out of the park. It is absolutely phenomenal. We're going to sort of talk about maybe the price. <laughs> yeah, that one. Talk about the price and some final thoughts at the end of this. So like I said, just a 10 lap race. Uh, we qualified in pole with a... Do you know what? I can't remember what it was now. But yeah, we, I mean, I think we left them by about eight tenths of a second. So it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Yeah, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I've got a times five multiplier on, so you should be able to see maybe the setting sun a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> Front wheel drive. Bags of oversteer on corner, en corner entry and then loads of understeer <laughs> at corner exit. Could be a little bit tricky. And again, getting used to a right, right hand drive car. It's kind of weird because where I normally... Shut up, Jim. Oh, he's coming out of the pits. Where I normally position my car for the majority of sim racing games um, normally, we're, we're being a left-hand drive car. You kind of position yourself in a in a place where you know very well you can hit the apex. But having the majority of the car over there on the left-hand side, it's kind of weird for quite a few of these corners. There's been many a times where I've been sort of wondering if there's been a car sort of beside me knocking me or something like that but then I've realized I'm actually on the grass like this corner here in particular you can't drive as far over because obviously you got the majority of the car on that side I made 2.2 seconds already I've absolutely dusted the AI but at least this is going to give you an idea of of how impressive this looks and how mental this sounds but yeah this is an absolute Absolute joy this is. Oh, a bit deep there. Oh. I mean, it looks phenomenal. Visually. That's a bit deep, I think. So, foot performance is really, really good as well. But yeah, this is... This is kind of, this is kind of, ooh, didn't want to get on the power too early there. This is kind of reminding me of the old Tocker games I used to play a lot back on PlayStation when I was younger. Maybe 20, 20 years ago, It's uh, I grew up playing that game. And this is just making me smile. I mean, this car is an absolute joy to drive. Front wheel drive car, the force feedback. The physics, absolutely brilliant. It is so, so good, guys. And I will touch on... I will touch on a few things at the end of this video. I'm not going to get too involved in it here, but just basically, it's such a shame that this game's overall package isn't as strong as the racing uh, experience, shall we say. I mean, I, I've always loved this sim for handling, the physics, the way the car feels. I mean, you can you can kind of you can kind of feel the the tires 
like when you're in the corner you can almost feel the car sort of bouncing in the corner and, and the tires sort of scrubbing you can literally feel that grip through the wheel it, it's just it's so good this game the driving experience is just it brings a smile to your face it really really does the physics are amazing everything everything on track this game does so so well <laughs> But it just falls so short for the rest of the game. And unfortunately, that's why I only put out an R Factor 2 video every now and again. Because there's just nothing to do. The online is absolutely pants. But we shall touch on that at the end. So let's just enjoy... Let's just enjoy a little bit of the race here. Halfway home. So maybe I'll shut up so you can just listen to this as well. Oh, that's deep. So we qualified with a 110 flat, so I'm like five temps off, but I am talking to you guys right now. Oh, use all the track. Oh, I was a little off, off track there. I thought I could just get that back in time. So yeah, we've got the sun set in there to our right. Loads of understeer, sorry. I was going to say oversteer then. <laughs> but I'm absolutely loving this content. Right, let's get a good lap in this lap. Whoa. Steady on, Tony. That's better. So, for the next race that we do, after this one, we're going to go straight into the other bit of content. We're going to do Brands Hatch. But we're going to do it early in the morning just so you can see the different lighting and we're also going to use the what is it it's the inf inf infinity car isn't it so it's going to be a rear wheel drive car rather than a uh, a front wheel drive car which the Toyota Corolla obviously is so the handling is going to be completely different so it's going to be kind of interesting to jump straight into that car from this car But the sounds are absolutely fantastic. On 10.2 there, so we're coming down. I should be able to get into the 109s, but mind you, we are on race fuel now. You can really cut that apex there on the right hand side. Ooh, feel the car bouncing around there on the loss of grip. It's just so good. Oops, car off. You alright there, mate? You can't park there, mate. <laughs> So you can really see the sun setting now, the shadow's getting longer. See, I think the last R Factor 2 video I done was probably a good 15 months ago. When I covered the, um, the visual updates to Spa, I think it was Spa, Mons and Silverstone, I believe. But that was the last sort of time I'd, I'd put up any content for R Factor 2, which is such a shame because it's such an enjoyable drive. But this is so much fun checking this out. Absolute kudos to Studio 397. 
Ooh, a bit wide there. Way too deep. One lap to go. Oh, broad. Oh, no way is that a track cut. Come on. That was another car off there. Can't park there, mate. There we go. Check a flag. Yeah, a bit of a rubbish race. <laughs> But yeah, what else could you do? I can't put the AI any higher. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is. But there we go. Really, really, really enjoyable. The car, this car is just... It's just an absolute joy to drive. Just what the feedback you get. The, uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Just what comes back through the wheel. So what we'll do is we'll just bring it around to the pits. And then I think we'll jump over to Brands and we'll try the rear wheel drive Infinity. Yeah, the sun really dropping now on the circuit. I like all the birds that you see flying around, planes taking off. It's just a, a little bit extra level of kind of like immersion, a little bit more love put into the circuit rather than it just being a circuit. Right, let's hop on it over to the pits and let's do a, a ninja edit. Right, here we go then guys, Brands Hatch. This time we're in the rear wheel drive Infinity, so it's going to be a lot different. Oh, I was caught sleeping there. It'll polish out what? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hit anything. I just lit them up a little bit. That was all. Oh. So as you can tell right off the bat, this car is obviously going to be a lot different than the Toyota Corolla. But unfortunately for us, we've qualified in pole yet again, even though I didn't really try my hardest getting the pole and you know this is at 120 percent ai 100 percent aggression so unfortunately it is what it is um all right jim calm down so yeah as you can see i mean brand's hatch is looking just absolutely sublime it's so so beautiful it's really really well done especially in this early morning sunshine as well i mean i thought donnington looked really good in the afternoon sun but this for me oh, best corner sim racing this for me actually looks better than Donington which is amazing to say because I was really impressed with how Donington looked Ooh, slippy slippy but yeah this car is so much fun to drive it really is It does want to kill you, though, at every opportunity. Oh! <laughs> Big old brawl, Tony.
I mean, the force feedback you get in both of these cars is just second to none. It is just so incredible. I mean, R Factor 2, I've always said it in all the videos that I've covered R Factor 2 in the past. Um, the physics and the handling have always been impeccably made. It's just, it's just so good R Factor 2. It's so rewarding. The physics is, is so impressive. Always has been. But these cars here just feel incredible to drive. How different in contrast they obviously are. You know, one front wheel drive, one rear wheel drive. It's just, it just brings a smile to your face. How can you not enjoy this if you're a sim racer? And these tracks, I mean, there's not many tracks that look this good in the world of sim racing. Hats off to Studio 397. Absolutely top-notch work. So good. Oh, -hoo -hoo. oh what a catch. What a catch. We were sideways through there. That's going to be one for the highlight reel. I mean, the audio, like how these cars sound as well, the transmission whine. I mean, the scrubbing of the tyres, everything is just so on point. However, the only thing that isn't on point, sadly, <laughs> is the price. Uh, yeah, don't get me started on the price of this content. It's going to cost you 21 English pounds if you want to get, I think it's just the, the two cars and the two tracks. Uh, so that's Brands and Donington. And then it's 26 pounds if you go for the full package, uh, which obviously gets you Laguna Seca as well. I'm not too sure where Laguna Seca has come from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure BTCC has never raced at Laguna Seca. But hey-ho. But that's £26 if you want to get the full the full DLC. Now, for me, that's taking the mick a little bit. £26 for two tracks. and uh, Sorry, three tracks and two cars is way excessive. It should be £10 at most, this. And the other sad thing is, unfortunately, as good as this racing experience is, when you're sat in the car and you're going around the circuit and you're enjoying everything that this has got to offer. Oh, that corner is just absolute death in this car. Yeah, so unfortunately, getting beyond how it looks and how it sounds and how it handles, the sad thing about R Factor 2 is it's it's got nothing to make you keep keep coming back to it, which is why I get so excited in doing these R Factor 2 videos when new DLC drops. I think the last R Factor 2 video I did was maybe 15 months, to, uh, two years ago, something like that, two and a half years ago. It was when they updated Spa and Monza and I think Silverstone as well. And I was absolutely gooey with praise for what they delivered then. But unfortunately, the game hasn't got anything to keep you coming back. The online is very average. Some might say actually poor. And the single player experience just leaves so much to be desired. Um, there's just not enough content in there. Yes, you can set up these sort of individual races and you can enjoy your time racing, you know, just spending a bit of time messing around, but there's nothing really to get your teeth into. Now, I don't know what Studio 397's plans are. Maybe they're gradually going to increase more touring car content, more touring car tracks. Maybe we'll get Snetterton, Knock Hill, uh, Alton Park. I don't know. And maybe we'll get like a fully fleshed out BTCC. Sorry, BT, BTCCC, BTCC. <laughs> Uh, championship, like career or something. Maybe there'll be like a, an R Factor 2 BTCC major update or something. Maybe they'll make this like the official touring car racer. I don't know. But unless they do something like that, I can't see myself coming back to this game all that often. Especially not when all my, my sort of competitive racing is done on iRacing. And I'm just starting to get into ACC a little bit more now, so do check out those videos as well if you want to check out ACC. But I'm going to get involved in LFM. So with those sort of sims out there on the market, 
I've got no real reason to keep coming back to R Factor 2 apart from uploading a few bits of content to just show you guys what it's about and give you my sort of loose thoughts on it. Which is a shame because what is delivered on the track is absolutely phenomenal. It's just such a good sim. But hey ho, there we go. I mean, I'm not an alien by any stretch of the imagination. But if this is 120% AI, this is essentially as high as it'll go. I think I've got the multiplier on 5%. I don't know if that makes any difference at all when you're when you've got it set to 120% because there is actually nowhere high than that to go. And 100% aggression, but you know you just leave the AI for dead, so you can't really enjoy the racing too much if you just want to play single player. But look at it; it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just there's it's just the way it looks, especially here with the the morning sun. That's a bit wide. I mean, the shadows there cast it across. Unfortunately, it's got that that shadow popping, like that cascading shadow where it sort of renders it as you sort of get to it. As you can see there on the right-hand side on the trackside barriers, R Factor 2 has always had that. It's just the design. But the lighting engine is so gorgeous. Oh, chopper up there. That's what I like as well. Just a little bit of touches around. I know most sims do that now, but it's nice to see them putting another, you know, a little bit more immersion into it when you race around the circuit. Especially if you're out here in front of this and you've got nothing really to excite you. Might as well just enjoy the sights. Let's see if we get this back end. <laughs> I mean, this car is just so much fun, dude. I think it's probably my favorite car of these two cars. I mean, the Toyota is really, really good fun, but it's very understeery, you know, front wheel drive, etc. obviously. But this is the car if you want some fun, if you want to get that back end kicking out, if you want to do some drifting, get some power slides going. Yeah, you're going to enjoy your time racing this. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. I just love the the feedback you get through the wheel when you're sort of, you know, you're going through a high speed corner and you can, oh dear me, I'm chatting. You can feel the, like the car bouncing, like the grip bounce, oh my God. You know, the grip bouncing, you can get all that feedback through the wheel. And obviously you get the audio cue as well, what's going on. It's just such a treat, it really is. Also, I've got dirty tires. Haven't really got a lot of grip now. The AI is going to catch up a little bit. They've probably made five seconds there. Well, three seconds maybe. Oh, that's too deep. I keep going too deep into this corner, don't I? At least that gives me an excuse to get that back end kicking out. I mean, look at it. Visually, it's just so well done. I mean, I am running this absolutely maxed out. Um, getting over 100 FPS, triple 1440p. The only thing, actually, no, that's not true. The only thing I'm not running maxed out is... Um, Post-processing, I've got that on. Um, I've got that on high. Obviously, because we are recording as well. Whoops. Yeah, obviously because we're recording as well. I always like to keep my frames above 100. If I turn post-processing, uh, 
post processing on ultra unfortunately with the recording going it does tank it a little bit in places down to about 80 and you can feel that drop even though i've got g-sync on so i've just dropped it down to high you can't really notice the difference really to be fair blue flag blue flag Chopper going overhead again. Yeah, I can feel it, Jim. Definitely lost some grip here. So yeah, last lap guys, my overall thoughts on this, absolutely fantastic, visually stunning, the audio is absolutely incredible, it's so raw, it's so loud, you feel like you're in a touring car, the handling and physics, well it's R-Factor 2, it's always incredible, just brilliant, I mean the tracks, yeah, tracks are brilliant they feel amazing it's like a 10 out of 10 but unfortunately at the cost it is unless you're really going to keep coming back to our factor 2 it's quite hard to swallow 21 pound or 26 pound depending on which content you get for this i mean if you're big <laughs> jim's a little bit excited so yeah if you are an r factor 2 racer then this absolutely 100% is a must. You have to get this content for sure. If you're like me, where you absolutely love your time in the seat, racing it when you're on the track, it's brilliant. But outside of that, there's very little to do to get those juices flowing. Single player is very poor. The online is is, is just so average. Um, it's hard to get a, a race. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's, there's just like there's no system like LFM on ACC or there's no I racing system to boot. You know, it's just very bland, really. Um, I I can't really recommend it that much if you're not really going to put hours into this sim because you know it's it's such a lot of money for just you know such little content. But there we go. It is what it is. What they've delivered is fantastic. It just needs to be half the cost. But in saying that, I've gone and bought it, haven't I? Because I love touring cars and I love driving an R-Factor too. So, there it is. Let's come around here, let's jump into the pits. Make sure we've got our pit limiter on. Oh, yeah, you can tell I've not done that pit entry in a while. Oh, there's our pit. There we go. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Um, I'm probably going to cut out this one. Maybe I'll put some final thoughts in. I'll do a little bit of editing on the video. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you have done. I'd appreciate that massively while I get punted up the back there by the AI. So yeah, I will see you shortly. <laughs>